Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I wanted to share with you guys the powders that I have been enjoying for my oily skin. There's a couple powder foundations that I'm going to bring up as well. And the rest of them are either setting powders, pressed powders, for setting, and yeah, I think that's it. But before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alex. And this channel is pretty much your guide to makeup for oily skin. So if you guys have oily skin and can totally relate to that, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you guys. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this video. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about loose powders. And loose powders is typically what I use on a daily basis. And these are the ones that I enjoy using almost every day. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the high-end one just because it's the only one that I have as far as high-end goes. And it's a really good one. This is a Too Faced Peach Perfect translucent mattifying powder and actually it's called yeah it's called the mattifying loose setting powder infused with peach and sweet fig milk it smells really good if you guys don't like scents then you guys might not like this one it really is translucent i don't really see it on my skin when i'm applying it with like a brush or anything i mean i don't know how good of a swatch this is gonna be but this is the powder right here and the powder just blends very seamlessly sets your foundation and you can't really detect it on your skin and that's why one of the reasons why i like it it is super finely milled so it just really kind of just blurs your skin and imperfections it's really a smoothing mattifying powder and it's a great one i forgot how much it is i'll make sure to put it somewhere on the screen it has lasted me a while and i feel like i reach for it a lot but i typically set my face like my t-zone and my under eyes and this one has been really really good for that I feel like it's one of the few that has maintained my oil at bay during the day along with another one and it's top contender and actually if I finish this one I might not repurchase it just because I prefer the this one next I prefer probably this one a little bit better compared to the peach perfect it just lasts a tiny bit longer but they're different so you guys will have to decide what kind of works best for you guys. So this one is the Revlon Candid Photo Ready Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. And this is in the shade 002. So I think they have like three shades. This is in the shade 002, so it's like the middle ground one. This is the powder right here. So it does have a tint, which is what sets it apart from the Too Faced Peach Perfect one. It does have a tint and you could actually see the tint. So if you guys don't like a powder messing too much with your foundation, then you guys probably won't like this one. Um, I don't know why I'm swatching, but I'm going to swatch them. But you do see a tint once you apply it. I actually want to get the lighter one because I do like how it looks on the skin. But I've never tried it under my eyes, so I wouldn't even know how it would look because have I tried it under my eyes? I don't know. I don't, I can't remember. But lately I've only been using it to set my T-zone and that's where I feel like it really does control my oils. I don't know what they did with this powder, but they just did it right. All right, another powder that I like for underneath the eyes, I typically don't use it for my whole face. Uh, when I discovered the Candid, that's usually what I use for my face setting. This one is the number seven translucent perfect light loose powder i've talked about it a few times in my channel and it's kind of similar to the peach perfect but i feel like the peach perfect does a lot more smoothing for your skin whereas this one does control your oils a little bit better but it doesn't really do much as far as smoothing the skin so if you guys do have pro problematic areas then i would maybe go with the candid or the peach perfect but this one I do like for oil control, especially because it's translucent. You guys can actually use it during the day and it won't mess with the color of your foundation. And it's a very nice finely milled product. You can get it at Target. You can get it at Walgreens. It, they usually have like a lot of sales. Buy one, get one 50% off. And I do like this one um, to set under my eyes. I don't feel like it's heavy under the eyes. I feel like it's a very lightweight loose powder and for that reason i like it the next one that i like i don't use it often on my channel like on video but this is also one that i like using for setting my face i don't use it underneath my eyes because this one is tinted this one is in the shade medium this one is the nyx can't stop won't stop setting powder and it is tinted 
So I typically use it for setting my whole face. And this one is very, very similar to the Candid powder. These are probably two, you, you don't need both. I'm just sharing like what I, what I like and what I use. Um, actually, if I had to pick from one or the other, I would pick this one. But this one has a lot more shades to offer. So if you guys feel like this one is not kind of clashing with your undertone or if it doesn't really mesh well with your skin tone, maybe look into this one because they do have a lot more shades in this one. So yeah, those are my four loose powders that are kind of like standout winners. And yeah, these two are kind of similar to each other and then these two are kind of similar to each other. So you guys don't need all four, um, but I would say at least one of each, like this one that has no color and then this one that has a little bit of tint. Um, I just like the tint sometimes it gives you a little bit more full coverage especially because I don't like full coverage foundations if a foundation is full coverage I tend to sheer it out with a sponge I never really go into it with like a brush or anything like that so powders like these that have a little bit of tint and it's a little bit of tint at that it's not really giving you that much more coverage but it's just a little bit nicer to have those kind of powders in your arsenal. So there's two different types of pressed powders. There's a setting pressed powder and then there's a foundation powder. I'm gonna talk about finishing setting powders right now and I only have two. This one is the NYX No Filter Setting Powder and this one is in the shade Medium. It's actually pretty, pretty beat up right now. I need a new one. I feel like they're gonna discontinue this because a lot of people haven't been able to find it in stores. The NYX website has it but I don't know, some stores are just kind of getting rid of it. I don't know why. This finishing powder is so, so good that I used to use it so much. I actually had to stop using it because I feel like some of you guys might have been bored of me using it. I don't know what, I think it's the pressed form. There must be like another ingredient in it. It feels almost like it has like a moisturizing component into it where it's like, it mattifies because it's a powder, but it doesn't over dry. And I think that's what I like about both of these powders that I'm about to talk about. And I think what I like mainly about this one is that any foundation that I use under it, this powder really extends the life of my foundation for some reason. So if you have a crappy foundation, but you just wanna use it up because you bought it and you can't return it, maybe try pairing it with this powder and you probably won't be disappointed. And they have tons of shades. Um, I don't know how many shades you can find in store, but like I said, the NYX website has more shades than not, you know. So now the next powder that I want to talk to you guys about is a very, it's fairly new to me. I've only had it for two weeks, but oh my God. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder in the shade medium, I think. Um, it's like a nice compact. It has a nice mirror and the shade is perfect. This powder, somebody compared it to the Char the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I forgot what it was or what kind of powder, but it's a very expensive powder. This powder is really nice. And I honestly think it's made for all skin types, but if you guys have dry skin and have never found a powder that'll mesh well with you, try this powder because I think this powder you will like. I follow a couple girls that have dry skin and a lot of them, swear by this powder. I have oily skin and I swear by this powder. It really makes your your skin radiate. It's like illuminating and not in a bad way. I don't think it has any shimmer, but again, I feel like, I don't know why I had to smell it. I feel like it has like a very hydrating component in it that it doesn't look like you're wearing powder. Some of these powders look like you're wearing powder this one doesn't. This one really blends in with your foundation and I just love the way, I just love the way it looks. It's like amazing. The shade is perfect to combine with foundations that are a little bit too light. So for example, foundations that I have that were maybe a tad too light, for example, this Camel Beige by Catrice, I think was a tiny bit too light. But when I pair it with this powder, since it's tinted, the powder just makes it look like my skin tone but it doesn't change the way the foundation works it doesn't really alter it the foundation works the same it just kind of corrects your tone a little bit so if you guys have certain foundations that are a tad too light for your skin tone 
and are similar to my skin tone, maybe try this powder. You will like it. And it does control the oil. I feel like this one controls the oil a lot more. But setting my face with this, uh, I'm willing to reapply as needed because my face looks really healthy with this powder. Sometimes I only use this powder after putting moisturizer. I'll just put this powder on if I don't want to do anything else and my skin feels like I'm healthy. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my skin looks like I need to eat. But once I put this powder on, it's it just takes my skin to a whole nother level. And it's just powder. I don't know what it is. It's amazing. The next three are powder foundation. So you're totally going to skip foundation, but you still want some coverage. And this is where these powders come in. The first one I'm going to talk about very quickly because I actually did a video on this one. So I'm going to link it up above for you guys. This is the Maybelline Superstay in the shade 30, what is it? 332 Golden, Golden Caramel. This one has really, really good coverage. This one is probably the most full coverage out of the three. And I like using this one with a um, microfiber sponge. I typically use this powder with this brush, with this sponge right here. You guys have to see it in action. After you guys are done with this video, go watch that video. It really gives you nice coverage and it lasts throughout the day, controls your oil, gives you enough coverage. It's amazing. I forgot, I do have, this is another high-end product. It's a very specific reason I use this product. This is the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. And this one is in the shade Golden Beige. I'm going to link the video um, where I use this product. I used to use it like all over my face, but I stopped. I mainly use it for days that I don't want to wear any foundation, but I have acne. If you guys combine a high coverage concealer, for example, this one, and combine it with this on top, that is literally all you need to cover your acne. Full coverage concealer, full coverage powder foundation, and that's it. This Bare Minerals, it works so, so good. It doesn't look cakey on top of acne. Like I said, I'm going to link the video when you guys are done with this video. Go look at that one. It's, it's a really good powder foundation to cover up acne without looking cakey. I was like breaking out so much um, last, I think during the summer last year. And so I decided to make that video because that was the only way that I could hide my acne without taking on product after product after product. But yeah, this is a must for that. And yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully it wasn't too long of a list for you guys. But yeah, like I said, you guys don't need all of these powders, but I just wanted to give you a few options depending on your needs so that you guys can make your choice to see what you guys actually can benefit from. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions in regards to these powders that I didn't answer, um, leave them in the comment section below. I actually just finished doing a live stream on YouTube and that was very, very fun. If you guys um, watched it or actually joined the live, leave me a heart in the comment section um, and I'll think about maybe doing one in the future. I don't know. It was very, I was very nervous and maybe you guys could tell, but it was actually fun after I was done with it. I was like, oh, that was actually really fun. So maybe I'll do it again in the future. But yeah, anyways, that is all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.